Hi guys, Chris McNeil here, founder of The Scraper. I want to shoot this very short video that will show you a couple little tricks on how to optimize your scraper performance. This is really aimed at those people that have older machines like Windows XP or Windows Vista and maybe an unreliable Wi-Fi connection. Maybe you're in a cafe or something where there's a lot of internet traffic and you know, you're finding it hard to get some reliable scrapes out there. It's also for people who have a lot of listings, at least 100 listings, probably closer to two or 300 listings. The big complaint is that, first of all, older machines do not have the processing power that more modern machines do to scrape hundreds of listings, and so they crash. Also, some Wi-Fi connections are not reliable and they do not allow the scraper to consistently go out to vendors' websites to find accurate product information. So we've got a solution for you. Go to your main menu. If you can't find it, it's on the menu tab and just click on open menu. And have a look on the bottom left at these two buttons here, enable batch processing and disable brute force scraping for Wayfair and Overstock. So what this means, this first one, if you've got it turned on, it's simply you take it on and off. If you enable batch processing, what the scraper will do is break up your list of items into smaller chunks, maybe 25 or 50 items, whatever is right for your machine, and it will scrape just those and then continue on to do the next batch and the next batch and the next batch. That way it's not going to take your entire list and attempt to scrape that list all at once. That makes much more efficient use of your PC. Again, this is for older PCs, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and some PCs that don't have as much RAM processing power. The next item down is disable brute force for scraping for Wayfair and Overstock on shipping and stock items. We've had this problem on occasion where Wayfair and Overstock are not able to report back to us accurate shipping and stock availability. If you're finding that, if you're checking some items and you're finding that the results that you're getting in the scraper are different from what Wayfair and Overstock are publishing on their website, simply tick this box on and that will solve that problem. It will be able to retrieve the more accurate information. It should generally work, but in case you are finding some differences, just take this box on and that will help you going forward. Thanks very much.